Every day, life presents us with opportunities to try something that's different from what we had the day before. Today it's Naked Without the Oink, delicious plant-based bacon rashers. So I picked this up in Tesco. I can't remember how much it was, but I'll put the price on the screen. And this is another one of these products that claims to be able to be a replacement for bacon, but doesn't contain meat. And it says, there's really nothing like the taste and smell of proper bacon, agreed. But these delicious rashers are made without the oink. So absolutely everyone can be part of that special bacon eating experience. It's not quite the same as the real thing, but we think it's getting there. And amazingly, it's high in protein, a source of fiber, vitamin B12, iron and zinc, and made without any soya. So interesting that they do actually acknowledge that they're not quite there yet with this product. That's nicely honest. There's a lot of information here on this thing. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll read the instructions, I'll scan the pack. And if you want to, if you want to read everything that's on this pack, then pause the video and read the bit you want. But the ingredients are water, sunflower oil, wheat gluten and pea protein, sodium alginate, carrageenan, methyl cellulose, konjac, xanthan gum, corn flour, flavorings, vegetable fiber, sea salt, yeast extract, barley malt extract, maltodextrin, plant and fruit extract, iron pyrophosphate, zinc oxide, vitamin B12. So quite a lot of th kind of thickeners and binders in there, but primarily this is made from wheat gluten and pea protein. So those are quite potentially meaty, non-meat ingredients. Anyway, I will have a look. Pan fry for two to three minutes. I'm going to try and make a bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich today. So we just need to pan fry for two to three minutes in a little bit of oil. Let's get cracking and do that. All of the packing is made from recycled materials and recyclable. Just smelling this now, I can smell the pea protein in there. I don't know if it's just me, but I can definitely smell when fake meat things are made from pea protein. Coming out the packet, I don't know, it looks reasonably authentic. The colors are way off. But in terms of texture, it kind of has the texture of ham that's already cooked. Now, in case you're one of those people who's going to ask the question, why? Why do vegans keep on trying to make fake meat products? I think I'm going to suggest that you go off and ask a vegan about that, because I'm not a vegan. Um, I'm pretty sure that there is an obvious answer to it. So I suggest you go talk to a vegan and see if they've got an answer that satisfies you. I think we'll do five rashers. I'll put the rest in the fridge and we'll have that later if it turns out to be worth eating. So as it's cooking, it does smell a bit like bacon. I mean, I suppose as much as smoked paprika smells like bacon. I may have put a bit too much oil in here, but I do tend to find that these plant-based things sometimes need a little bit of help on the oil. Starting to crisp up a little bit on the first side. I don't think we're gonna get the same kind of crisp that we get on bacon here. One thing it doesn't do is shrink. Well, that's had the two to three minutes that they recommend, but I think I'm going to go just a little bit further because I think this kind of brownness is what we're looking for, really. Okay, right, we're over the time for cooking, so I'm going to stop there. It is actually starting to dry out a bit, so I'm going to stop there, and we'll put that in a sandwich. But first, I think let's just have a look at it as a cooked product. It kind of looks a lot drier than you'd expect from bacon. The colour and appearance is more convincing now that it's cooked than it was when it was raw. Uh, I'm going to taste a bit. So, kind of looks a bit like bacon when it snaps in the same way as crispy bacon. It's not bad. The flavour's kind of like a diluted version of bacon. It's, it's almost like somebody took bacon and then turned down all the dials. It tastes faintly of bacon. The texture is faintly bacon-ish. The appearance is kind of bacon-ish. It's not bad. It's just like a kind of diluted version of bacon. Anyway, we're going to put this in a sandwich and see what it's like in there. Now, I don't tend to butter my bread for bacon sandwiches, but I'm going to put some mayonnaise on there. Now, this is not vegan mayonnaise. I'm not a vegan, so I am taking it away from kind of vegan authenticity now. But for me, this is a question about how close to bacon this tastes. I've already tried vegan mayonnaises, and some of them are quite good. So I'm just going to assume that the mayonnaise is not exactly a factor in my assessment of this bacon, fake bacon product. This is a Polish mayonnaise that somebody in the comments recommended I should try. So we're giving that a go today. So I'm going to lay on these strips of bacon. 
I think I'll put them on both sides. We'll also have a little bit of lettuce on there. I've only got these yellow cherry tomatoes to go on there, but I guess that'll do. They're tomatoes. Just half those, I think, and plonk them in there. So, a fake bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich. Let's get that to the table and give it a taste. Okay, I made a bit of a mess of this. Possibly poor choice of ingredients there with those cherry tomatoes, but that's what I've got. So it kind of looks like a bacon sandwich. Oh, my fillings have fallen out. Let's try and post those back in again. Kind of lacking on the salt. And yeah, maybe it's just me. I can tell I'm eating a fake meat made from pea protein. Pea protein's got quite a distinctive aroma and taste to me, and I can taste it in here. It's not unpleasant, but I can tell I'm eating something made from peas. So verdict on this, I'd say it's a bit more bacon-like than that this is not bacon product that I reviewed before. It's still quite a distance away from bacon. I will set aside a tiny bit and see if the dog will eat it. But yeah, it tastes like a black and white photograph of bacon. I'm not saying it tastes like a photograph, it tastes like bacon with a lot of the essential qualities of bacon kind of dialed back. I'm just going to put some kind of jerk barbecue sauce on there. I think it kind of needs some smoky sauce on there to restore some of the flavour. And I think probably if you put some strips of roasted red pepper in there, sprinkle a bit of smoked paprika on there maybe instead, or used a smoky barbecue sauce, it's going to be more of a bacon experience. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, that kind of works. Right, do you want to try this, Eva? Give it a pull. What do you think? Not convinced? So not perhaps the most enthusiastic endorsement from Dog over there, and she eats poo, so make of that what you will. I would say, yeah, in summary, this thing tastes like some percentage of bacon. It's like somebody took bacon and just reduced its baconiness, reduced all of its essential properties by some percentage. So I suppose they just need to do this and improve this and iterate this product and they might get closer. They were quite upfront about the fact that they're not there yet, which is refreshing. But there it is, not exactly bacon-like. Not unpleasant in a sandwich, but a little bit disappointing and kind of dilute on flavor and taste experience. Now it occurred to me yesterday when I tested these plant-based bacon rashers that there might be one or two flaws or whatever in my testing methodology. For one thing, using the non-vegan mayo on the sandwich seems like a bit of a cheat so we're going to do it again today we're going to make the kind of bacon sandwich you might buy from a cafe to eat in the front seat of your car as breakfast on the way to work so i'm going to do bacon sandwich on white bread buttered with brown sauce interesting to me that people seem to have very fixed ideas about what kind of sauce goes with what I quite often have ketchup on a bacon sandwich. Apparently, brown sauce is what most people have, and the people that have brown sauce often think that's the only kind of sauce you should have with bacon. Very strange to me, but there it is. So, everything's going to be vegan this time, just really to keep things consistent. We are trying to replace a standard white bread bacon bat with brown sauce with all vegan alternatives. So we've got the plant-based bacon. We can't use butter on those rolls, obviously. So I've got this vegan spreadable, which is made from rapeseed oil, water, coconut oil, shea butter oil, almond, salt, emulsifier, which is sunflower lecithin, carrot juice, lemon juice, natural flavoring. Okay, let's see what that actually looks like. I mean, it looks pretty much like you'd expect. It's, it's a vegetable-based spread. Some people would call that margarine, but the term margarine tends to imply things that uh, aren't necessarily true of the product anymore. 
So let's have a little taste of this spread on its own. Obviously that's not butter and it doesn't have an intense buttery taste like we'd get from butter, but it has got a kind of mild creaminess to it that is quite pleasant in its own right. And of course the bread. Most bread in the UK, unless it's something like brioche or it, unless it says milk or something in the name of the product, is actually vegan now. So this contains no animal products at all. Anyway, I think I've talked enough. Let's get cooking this bacon. I'm going to try and assemble it hot and eat it hot this time. So a little bit of oil in my non-stick pan here just to help these crisp up. And as I say, the notion this time is we're going to cook this and try and eat it while the bacon's still hot. That's one of the things that maybe could have been wrong about the previous taste test is that I talked a lot and as a result the bacon wasn't even warm when I ate the sandwich. I'm going to try and remedy that this time. So I'm going to try and cook well as much as my pan will fit which is six rashers. We've still got one rasher left. Now interestingly this product is priced at the same price as the regular pork based bacon from the same company. It's the same price for a slightly lower pack weight but this stuff doesn't shrink in the cooking so you're probably getting the same serving size of cooked product at the end of it. Right and while that fake bacon is cooking let's get the bread roll ready so that we can have this ready and waiting and eat it hot as soon as it's served. I don't usually butter my bread when I'm having bacon sandwiches but I will do this time just really for standardization I think people generally do butter their bread in the UK when they have bacon sandwiches I don't but I will this time it's not exactly buttering because this is that vegetable based spread brown sauce on standby I'll say this brown sauce looks a bit runny actually I'll just check back on these rashers now they're starting to crisp up a bit so carefully flip them over And they really don't need as much or as long cooking as, as real bacon. I mean, partly because they are already cooked anyway, in a sense. They could be consumed raw. It's just a matter of aesthetics more than anything else. But, but also, because they're not meat, they don't require as much cooking to get to a crispy state. That's not going to be very long at all. Okay, right. Bacon is sizzling hot straight from the stove. And... I'm going to pile that on. You just have to excuse the dog barking in the background. This is time critical now because I want to serve this hot. So I'm just going to have to deal with the dog barking in the background. And I'm probably putting a bit more in terms of serving size in here than you might get if you bought this in a shop. But anyway, there it is. Right, a little bit of brown sauce on there. Gosh, that's very runny. And I'm going to eat this standing up here while it's still piping hot. Here we go. Well, that brown sauce is lacking a little bit on punch. So we'll go back for the kind of nation's favorite HP sauce. Let's give that a try. Okay, what we got here is an opportunity to taste the bacon product a bit more than I did in the BLT yesterday. And I gotta say, my impression remains the same. It's not very bacony. I can taste the pea protein in here, which is neither good nor bad, it's just there. It does taste like bacon but it's just bacon dialed down. It's kind of like bacon that's very far away. The brown sauce carries it and definitely enhances the sandwich. And the fake butter obviously adds something to the sandwich as well. It's not really enough like bacon to be a bacon substitute for me. It's just really a bit muted on flavor and texture and the kind of meatiness that you get from bacon. So that's my review of Naked Without the Oink plant-based bacon rashers. I hope that's been interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.